This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can curve text with Affinity Photo for the iPad. Now if you're using the desktop version of the app, don't run away just yet because this works the same way. So follow along with this tutorial if you'd like to learn how to do this. So in order to curve text with Affinity Photo, we first need to have a path to place the text on. Now there's various ways to create that path. You can use the pen tool over here to draw a custom path, or you can use one of these shapes over here to create a path to wrap the text around. So let me show you how to do both. Let's first grab the pen tool over here. I'm going to click on the left side of the canvas to create a point, and I'll come over here to the right side of the canvas and tap again to create another point. Now what I want to do is curve this line. So I'm going to come down here to the bottom of the screen where it says edit mode. I'm going to tap that, and I'm just going to take this line and curve this like that. And I'm going to use these handles over here to curve this line. And the, the, the curvature that I create in this path is going to be the path that the text follows as I create it. Okay, so now in order to place text on this path, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the Artistic Text tool, and I'm going to come over here to the path, and I'm just going to tap on the line like that, and you'll get this blinking cursor right here. And now you can write your text. So I'm just going to write some example text here, curve text. And what you could do now is you can triple tap the text right here to select all of it. And I'm going to make it bigger using this setting over here. Or you could just hold a tap in the middle of the numbers there and just slide it to the right and it'll make it bigger like that. Okay. Now if you notice on the left and right hand side we have this green triangle. This represents the starting point and we have this red triangle that represents the end point. This is in reference to the text. So I want the text to encompass this entire path here. So I'm going to take this green triangle and snap this to the beginning of the path. And I'm going to take this red triangle and snap this to the end of the path. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to align this text to the center so that it's going along the center of the path like that. Okay, now if you want, you can make this bigger. And from here, you could change the other properties of your text, like the font and, and the style and bold italics, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's how you can put text on a, uh, a custom path that you draw yourself. So let me grab the select tool now. Let me take this and get rid of it. I'm going to hold a tap over here with my finger, let go of it, and then tap on delete like that. Let's wrap text around a circle now. So to do that, I'm going to come over here to the square. I'm going to tap it, tap it again, and I'm looking for ellipse. And I'm just going to hold I'm going to tap and drag on my canvas like this to create an ellipse. And then with my other finger for my other hand, I'm going to hold a tap on the canvas so that it locks the proportions and makes a perfectly round circle like that. Now let's place some text around this circle. Let's grab the text tool. And just like we did before, we're going to tap on the path, but there's one difference you should pay attention to. Let me zoom in on this right here. If you tap on the outside of the path like that, it's going to place the text on the outside of the path, as you can see there. If you tap towards the inside of the path, it's going to place it on the inside of the path. And this is a little tricky to do sometimes. It's a little difficult to get this right with the pencil. So let me try it. There we go. Now you can see the text is going around the inside of the path. So that's important to pay attention to when you do this. If you want to have your text, like uh, let, me, let me undo this real quick. Let's say you want to have your text going around the outside of the circle and then a bottom on the top and then a line of text going around the inside of the circle on the bottom. You have to pay attention to where exactly you're tapping on the path. Okay, so I'm going to put some text I'm going to put some text around the outside of the path here. Let me tap on the outside of the path right there and I'm just going to write again curve text. There we go. Now let me select all of it. Let me just pinch and slide this down a little bit so I can see it a little better. Make this bigger. And I want this text to be going around the outside of the circle. So I'm going to take this green triangle and snap it to the left quadrant of the circle. And I'm going to take this red triangle and snap this to the right quadrant. And now what I could do is I can align that text to the center. And there it is going along the outside of the, of the, uh, the uh, circle there. So let me make this a little bigger. Curve text, and from there you could change your font to something else if you like. Maybe uh, something like DIN condensed. That's looking pretty good. Grab the select tool, and there you go. I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about creating curved text with Affinity Photo for the iPad. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.